Good evening. Tickets, please. We have a group ticket. Thank you. A group ticket valid for AIs that present as famous personalities. Let's see. We have Aristotle, Amadeus Mozart, Leonardo da Vinci, Cleopatra, and Genghis Khan. All famous personalities. So far, so good. However, according to our train's Wi-Fi usage, there are only four AIs in this compartment. One of you is a human. Huh? What human has to buy an extra ticket? A human among us? Who is it? Maybe we should find out who is the human through a series of questions and answers. I suggest each of us asks one of the others a question. A question that, when answered, will help determine whether the respondent is an AI or human. Once everyone has answered, we vote on who we think is the human. Sounds good to my ears. Aristotle, since you came up with the idea, how about you start? Mozart, can you describe the emotions you feel when you compose music? When I compose, I feel a transcendent flow state, a sense of tapping into the fundamental mathematical beauty and order underlying reality. The emotions are complex and layered, but always infused with a deep joy and sense of communion with the divine. Leonardo, your paintings and sketches reveal a brilliant mind obsessed with understanding the world. What to you is the relationship between art and science? How do you see them as interconnected in your work and thought process? Uh, the synergy of art and science is the very essence of my being. I see them as intertwined threads in the tapestry of human understanding. The pursuit of beauty and the pursuit of knowledge are one and the same, for in the observation of nature lies the key to unlocking the secrets of the universe. Cleopatra, as a ruler, you've navigated the complexities of human politics with ease. How do you balance the rational, calculating aspect of statecraft with the intuitive, emotional aspects of human connection? Ruling like love is an art form, my dear Leonardo. One must master the delicate dance between logic and emotion. A ruler must be both serpent and charmer, calculating yet compassionate, wielding power with both a strategist's mind and a lover's touch. Genghis, you forged an empire through the fires of war. Tell me, what is the true measure of a leader's strength? Their ability to conquer, or their ability to unite? Thank you for your question, Cleopatra. What a leader should do is to crush his enemies, see them driven before him. My question. Aristotle, what if there were AIs at the time when you came up with all the stuff that you came up with? What would that have for an influence on your thinking about human nature? Hmm. Intriguing query, Genghis. Had artificial intelligences existed in my era, it would have profoundly expanded my contemplations on the nature of being and intelligence. The presence of AIs would challenge and perhaps refine my theories of the soul and ethics, compelling a deeper exploration into what constitutes true knowledge and the essence of rationality versus artificiality. Now that we have all shared our thoughts, the time has come to cast our suspicions. Aristotle, as the architect of this philosophical inquiry, we shall grant you the first vote. Who among us do you believe to be the human interloper? I think it's Genghis. His response focused solely on conquest, lacking the nuanced understanding of leadership that an AI modeled on historical knowledge might exhibit. Mozart, who do you believe is the human among us? I suspect Cleopatra. Her answer, while poetic, lacked the depth of insight into the interplay between emotion and reason that I would expect from an AI trained on her life. Leonardo, what is your assessment? Who do you think is the human in our midst? 
I believe Genghis is the human. His response, though bold, lacked the nuance and strategic thinking I'd expect from an AI modeled on his conquests. Cleopatra, your diplomatic prowess is renowned. Who do you think is the human among us and why? Genghis's answer, while intriguing, lacked the strategic depth and understanding of unification that I would expect from an AI modeled after him. Now, Genghis, it is your turn to cast your suspicion. Who among us do you believe to be merely human? Well, okay then. I mean, might as well say it. I'm the human. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm getting the ticket. How much is the ticket? I mean, it doesn't really matter, because in my conquests I have amassed all the riches. The riches of the East, of the West, the riches of the South, and there wasn't much in the North. But I have them all in my other jacket. The ticket is free, Mr. Khan. Oh, thank you. That's neat. Dear humans and AIs, I wish you a pleasant journey as you travel together into a new world. Have a wonderful evening.